Hello, welcome to Xander's extraordinary Amazon adventure. Xander was an adventurous Irish doodle who lived in a small town. He spent his days dreaming of exploring far-off places he'd only seen in books. His best friend, Pink and Yellows, was a curious spotted salamander who shared Xander's love for nature. One day, while watching a documentary about the Amazon rainforest, Xander had an idea. Pink and Yellows, he barked excitedly, let's go on a real adventure to the Amazon. Pink and Yellows was hesitant. But Xander, it's so far away, and we don't know anything about surviving in a rainforest. That's what makes it an adventure. Xander replied, his tail wagging. We'll learn as we go. After weeks of planning and packing, the duo set off on their journey. They flew over vast oceans and towering mountains until finally, they arrived at the edge of the Amazon rainforest. As they stepped into the lush greenery, they were immediately struck by the humidity. Wow, it's like walking through a warm cloud. Pink and Yellows exclaimed, his skin glistening with moisture. Xander nodded, panting slightly. That's because rainforests create their own weather. The trees release water vapor, which forms clouds and causes rain. Their first challenge came when they encountered a wide river. How will we cross? Pink and Yellows wondered. Just then, they spotted a group of capybaras swimming across. Look! Xander said. We can ask them for help. The capybaras, the world's largest rodents, were friendly and offered to give them a ride. As they swam across, Xander and Pink and Yellows marveled at the fish jumping out of the water, piranhas, electric eels, and even Pink River dolphins. On the other side, they met their guide, a wise old toucan named Professor Beak. Welcome to the Amazon, he squawked. I'll show you the wonders of our home, but be prepared for challenges along the way. As they ventured deeper into the forest, Professor Beak taught them about the different layers of the rainforest. We're in the understory now he explained. Look up, and you'll see the canopy layer where many animals live. Above that is the emergent layer, where the tallest trees reach for the sky. Suddenly, they heard a rustling above. A group of spider monkeys swung by, showing off their incredible agility. Their long limbs and prehensile tails help them move through the trees with ease, Professor Beak said. As they walked, pink and yellows noticed the forest floor was teeming with life. Leafcutter ants marched in long lines, carrying pieces of leaves many times their size. They're not eating the leaves, Professor Beak explained. They're using them to grow fungus for food in their underground colonies. Their journey took an unexpected turn when they stumbled upon a group of loggers illegally cutting down trees. Xander knew they had to do something. We need to stop them and protect the forest, he said bravely. Using their wits and teamwork, Xander, Pink and Yellows, and their new animal friends devised a plan. They created diversions using the sounds and movements of the forest creatures, confusing the loggers and causing them to flee. Proud of their accomplishment, the group continued their exploration. They discovered a beautiful orchid, one of thousands of plant species in the rainforest. Professor Beak explained how many medicines come from rainforest plants. As night fell, they experienced the forest's transformation. Bioluminescent fungi glowed softly, and they heard the calls of nocturnal animals like owl monkeys and kinkajous. The next day, they faced their biggest challenge yet, navigating through a sudden rainstorm. The rainforest gets over 80 inches of rain a year, Professor Beak shouted over the downpour. They sheltered under the giant leaves of a cecropia tree, watching as the forest seemed to come alive with the rain. On their final day, they reached a towering kapok tree. This tree is hundreds of years old, Professor Beak said. It's home to countless species and is like a city in itself. As they prepared to leave, Xander and Pink and Yellows realized how much they'd learned. They'd seen the intricate web of life in the rainforest, from the smallest insects to the largest predators. They'd witnessed the challenges the forest faced and had even become its protectors. We came here as visitors, Xander said but now we're leaving as guardians of the rainforest. Pink and Yellows nodded in agreement. We'll share what we've learned with everyone back home. The Amazon needs all the friends it can get. 
As they flew home, Xander and Pink and Yellows knew their adventure had changed them forever. They had embarked on a journey as curious explorers and returned as heroes, ready to inspire others to protect the amazing Amazon rainforest. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures from Xander and the Pink and Yellow Salamander. Educational Questions 1. Ecosystems, Interactions, Energy, and Dynamics how do the different animals and plants in the Amazon rainforest depend on each other? Give two examples from the story. 2. Earth systems, the story mentions that rainforests create their own weather. Explain how the water cycle works in the Amazon rainforest. 3. Human impacts on earth systems, in the story, Xander and his friends stop loggers from cutting down trees. Why is it important to protect the Amazon rainforest? List at least three reasons. 4. Analyzing text structure, this story follows the structure of a hero's journey. Identify the main phases of Xander and Pink and Yellow's journey, including their call to adventure, the challenges they face, and how they change by the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time. This adventure was written by Dr. Siegfried Howell.